Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Today we're going to be using the thick wash. So this is our clay wash, just like the original wash, but this is the new thick version with the new top on it. So what we've got down in here, we've got a very old, incredibly old actually, uh, Dragon Panzer, which I built 12 years ago. So we thought we'd give it a little bit of an update. So it's a little bit dusty and a little bit gnarly and a little bit horrible. And to be honest, the weathering is shocking. All right, so I thought what we would do is do something completely different to this. So we're going to put down a winter camo wash very simply by using the new uh, thick wash. All right, so what will happen is we will literally pop this into an airbrush. We will spray it right the way over the tank. We'll let it dry and then we can do some various effects like we can do some chipping, some scuffing, some wear and tear and things like that. And again, it should be quite interesting because there's a lot of photo etch on this. Uh, and metal parts, things like that. So uh, it will be quite difficult to get in these areas traditionally, but hopefully using the new wash, we won't have a problem doing that. So what we're going to do is, first of all, make sure the lid's shut, give it a good shake, wake it up. It's quite thick. So, you know, really you could do with an airbrush, if you're going to put it on with an airbrush, of a 0.4 or a 0.6 needle nozzle combo, all right? This just enables it to flow quite naturally through it what you don't want to do is add anything to the wash so don't add water to it don't add especially alcohol because it will kill it or lacquers or enamels or anything else like this it's a water based so the only thing you can use with it is good old-fashioned tap water which is pretty good way of doing it anyway so what we got here is as you can hear nice high air pressure on this one so we've got our wash all right we we'll open up our nozzle on top it's had a good shake and we're just going to spray it straight in all right you might need a couple of coats onto this one and then what we're going to do is quite difficult to grab this thing we'll start on the sides all right so just coming in to start with as you can see covers very very well all right so again that's just the first coat and we will put subsequent coats onto this so now we're just going to come in the side and what we're going to do is spray this right over one, all right, right the way through. We can grab this by the edge again. And then obviously the turret does come off of this still, which just about remember. All right, so we just put a little bit of fan under here as well. Come in. We've gone through this quite quickly because we're putting down quite a heavy coat. So I'm literally just lathering this on, all right? So a little bit of fan in there bit around the back, exactly the same on the other side. So that's a car wash job right the way through. And as you can see, it's pretty much covered that very, very nicely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just gonna grab something so we can just put up in the inside of this. And then hopefully we can just grab it. Uh, hopefully, there we go. So we can just hold it like this. And again, we just put a little bit in there, a little bit around the back. All right, just like that. So that's actually just a little tiny bit more on the front. So we just put a few more drops in here and then just on this front mantle. Barrel. And then again, a little bit around in here. And what you can do is you can build this up quite slowly or you can do like we've done here is just chuck it down in one. This stuff, once it goes on, it sticks. This will not run off. This isn't the traditional wash where it will just flow off, all right? This goes on, as you can see, and literally will stick very heavily to your model, all right? So we're just going to do a little bit just on the front here. Okay. Just down in those side areas, and you can see it's pretty much in there already. So what we're going to do, we're going to let this dry for around about half an hour. All right, once it's dried after half an hour, we can then have a look and think, might want to put another coat onto it. This stuff will stick to itself time and time again. So you could layer it up if you wanted to. What you could do, you could come along and think, well, we, you know, we want some more darker patches underneath. So you might want to put down something like the black wash if you're feeling brave, uh, or definitely the dark dirt, or perhaps the mud, the sand colors, the grime even, down onto these ones first, and then put the actual winter camo type effect over the top using the light wash. And then what happens 
happens is you'll have that multi-layer. So when you come in with your next coat, you know, you will literally just put it on. So start with a lighter coat underneath, and then obviously you can then put the white on top. As you go through, it will blend together, all right? And it will give you quite nice. But you can see in one pass down under here, it has literally just covered it in one. And that's as simple as just doing that, all right? As it dries, it will obviously lighten up just a little bit, but hopefully then some of those details will come through, look really, really nice. So what we're gonna do for the moment though, is we're gonna let it dry and then we can come back and see exactly what we've got. If it does need a second coat, or we can just go into it just as is. Okay, so it's just been over an hour. And as we can see, our tank is dry completely dry right the way over and you can see in one pass this is just one coat this has had no more you saw me do this all live and it is completely on here it's a little bit thinner on this side to be honest than it is the other side but you can see the effect you get so if you wanted to give this a secondary coat what this would just go pure white you would have nothing coming through but i think what's nice with one you've got that sort of effect of it still coming through uh, like this. Now we've got a little bit careful because this side armor is literally, it's all a loose fit down in here, this photo etch. There's a lot of photo etch on this one. But hopefully we can show you a couple of little techniques with this one. So to start off with, if you've ever used the traditional Flory Models wash, wash, the original one, you know it can be quite fragile. If you rub it, you can actually rub straight through it. This one, to be honest, you're not going anywhere with it. This is not gonna rub off. Yes, you can do, and obviously don't forget, it's basically water activated. So uh, again, you get it a little bit wet, it will peel off quite nicely and all the rest of it. So you just have to be careful. But straight off the bat, it's got a lot more bite. This is gonna sit on here and it's not gonna want to move. The other thing as well is because it is water soluble and all the rest of it, warm water through your airbrush, you can rinse this straight off and pretty much 99% of it will come away, no problem at all. But from our point of view, we've just got down in here a selection of brushes, all right? So we've got some old ones and we've got some quite newish ones in there as well. We've got normal water. This is literally just tap water in here like this. And then as always, good old fashioned, kitchen roll all right it's really really good for this doing this type of work as well so traditionally as you know you basically wet cloth you know spit on it dab it down a little bit of water you rub it off and off it comes trouble with that is especially with armor it's a little bit fiddly to try and get in there so obviously a brush gives you a nicer effect and also for the effects that we're trying to do here it should work very very well just by almost dry brushing and that's what we're how we're going to achieve a lot of this one down in here so as you can see we will, i tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop the turret off just for a minute, purely because this is uh, gonna be easier to work with. We'll pop the turret down in here. We can come in nice and close and you can see exactly what we got. So as you can see, the way that it's dried is not totally, I wouldn't call it patchy, but it's gonna cling round again, all the lumps and bumps as we'd expect with the normal sort of Flory Models wash, just like that. So what we'll do is, we'll just grab my glasses. Okay, so what we've got down in here is one of our, uh, we want a slightly stiff brush. So if you've got a, a particularly old or warm brush or something else like that, that's what you, you really want. Uh, so I'm just looking for a more stiff brush. So we've got this little guy just down in here. It's an old one. Again, it's nothing particularly nice, but you'll notice when you come in with this and you start brushing it, nothing really is gonna happen. This stuff is properly in here. You can do this to scrape clean it almost off around the edges, but to be honest, you're not gonna achieve too much with it until it literally gets a little bit of water on this one. So just down in here, just a dab of water. All right, so we got that down in here over to a, a tissue. So think of it like dry brushing. So you've just got a moist brush now. And like oils, to start with, not a lot will happen. And then all of a sudden it will start to release. All right, so it will start to chip. And as you can see, you can sort of chip at it. All right, and this is a nice little chipping technique. So you sort of, it just literally starts to give and then you can start to chip through. So you just wet an area. Think of it like chipping fluid in reverse. And you can actually start to put little chips and gouges. So you've got this area in, you see, you're sort of just wearing through and you can literally start to 
come in through the the surface itself all right so this is one little technique so literally again just take a little bit of water load up your brush knock it all off all right dry brush off clean off your brush and again if i do one over here you just sort of put a little bit down and then just gently pick at it there we go you can see you reactivate it just a little bit and you can start to almost just the same as chipping fluid works and you can start to work at these different areas so again just activating a little area and obviously the least water you go at it you can see you can make some very nice subtle type chipping with it so it's a little technique about doing the chipping now as this dries back it will go rock hard again and then you can go back over it and you can chip at it again and again and again right the way over it all right so you've got something literally like that if you do want to do sort of dry brushing effects with it you can do that as well so again we're just going to pick up a little bit of water on a bigger brush now wipe off in fact that's got some nasties on it let's get rid of that one and get a, a newer cleaner brush might help without so many nasties on this so plain tap water every time don't use any alcohol lacquers enamels or anything else like that all right so we got this on so what we do is we'll just go around the back here so we can show it on here so we're just going to lightly go over this and you'll notice it's almost like dry brushing because you can now pick up you can chip and we'll go inwards and it will slightly start to give and we can do this nice warm look down in here to this end plate just like that all right so you say think of the possibilities you've got with this with a little bit of play and you understand it we can wear through it we can come through it in all these different areas so for instance these ones up here on the side again tiny little bit of water and it's amazing how little you need to activate this all right so again just going to come over those bolt heads and you can see how they pop out and suddenly come through so again we just pick off these corner areas things like that down in here maybe the markings we want to show through you can see how we're sort of dry brushing through into it and again we can do little things just down these we're just gonna literally start to peel and chip around these top edges you can see it coming through and again i'll do from the bottom so now we're coming up from the bottom and obviously if you've got two or three coats on it's going to be a lot harder to get this effect to come through careful because it is photo etched you've got to be a little bit careful oops there we go you can see how these type of chipping effects are all coming through so again we just grab a little bit of water on the back here so again hopefully we can just wear through you can see all of these a little bit in here we'll just do a little bit of just trying to get some chipping to come through so again with that moisture you can see these nice little chipping effects and again you would have more time to possibly play with this than i've got but it is it's just a case of very very little water be amazed if you've ever used obviously i'm assuming if you're at this level of weather and you've probably used oils all the time and you know how they work it's basically on the same thing the, the least amount of oil so what i'm trying to do here is just uh, sort of uncover this numbering underneath here so we're just trying to get that off so you can see we're just revealing the six so it looks like it's just been cleaned off around it and things like that then we go over here to the three again tiny little bit more water so literally just like the real thing we can just sort of come through here let's get that top bit off as well there we go so we can show through we're just wearing through that right the way through so again a little bit more water up here do a little bit more chipping type work and say stippling just with a slightly damp brush and then obviously as soon as it's gone a little bit too far and it's looking a little bit too wet you just sort of hold off now and let it re sort of sort itself out 
but you can do some really sort of very nice you'll do this little area here all right so then we just come in with a dry brush now there's nothing on this brush at all so this will just help to uncover these sort of areas but you can do any type of scratches and chips and weathering right the way through as you might imagine so hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can actually achieve with the wash so even on when you're doing sort of large areas like on here we just pop that panel back on <coughs> I can get it on do what we'll pop it on afterwards because it'll take a while but again what we'll do is we'll just do a little bit of dry brushing just up on the here so we can just clean off these areas let me bring this in nice and close so you can see so again we've got these patches see how we can just dry brush easily straight through a little bit of chipping work on them a little bit of knocking you just see that color starting to come through and then again grab a little bit of water get most of it all off your brush again just do a little bit of chippy and again don't like this dead easy to sort it out so i'm just going to cause a little bit of wear between these two with any luck just a small wear patterns things like that down into it again just go for a more an overall type of effect clearing off nuts and bolts and holers and so you can see we're just dry brushing off of all this metal work down in here and on these as well and we can just start to stab motion just to have a little bit of chipping again the wash is really thick and it's designed to bite it's designed to hold on so you've got more time and wear and, and various things onto it than perhaps you traditionally have with any of our other types of washes and things like that so that's the thing to remember this isn't a a one and done effect with these hopefully you can see it's coming together quite nicely so we're just going to do some more heavy duty type chipping and scratching at this front plate <clears throat> and you can see that original color underneath sort of coming through so just try to grab a little bit more some nice big chunky chips Again, we'll get a little bit on these front fenders. Right, it's all just sort of coming through now. A little bit of dry brushing type work off of it. Obviously these bits around the front. And again this is just one layer one level that we're playing with with all of this it's not like we're doing huge big areas and things like that so again get in here now more rub work around here you can really get this all to sort of come but you see you can see the original colors sort of working their way through coming through so again tell just down the back here start off with almost a dry brushing effect and in these corners just trying to cause distress there we go hopefully you can see that coming through just do the other side you can just start off lightly when you first load up your brush and then once it's got a little bit going on there, you can really start to come through and wear through. And scrape and scratch and wear. 
right the way through. All right, and that's literally it. So you just keep going at it and at it, oh, that bit's come off, until you're happy with the way it's all going and things like that. And then hopefully you'll end up with something very, very nice indeed. And again, of course, you can overcoat this. So if you're not happy with it, you overcoat it. Literally just spray on another coat right at the top let it dry and go again. Remember, when you've got one coat of this down, think of it a bit like your normal, your car, your automobile. If it's dirty, it's gonna get dirty very, very quickly. So obviously subsequent coats you put on this can actually add to it right the way through, all right? So what we just show you is just putting another little bit onto this. So as you can see, we've got a little bit still in here. So we just get rid of the old stuff. So we just put this in. We just use normal tap water for cleaning this out. So just around the color cup, get that all rehydrated. And then you'll notice it will just, you can just tip it out. Get a clean bit. Quick in here with a, as you can see, totally clear. Blow out the old stuff. We just put a tiny little bit of water in here. Just blow that through as well. Again, airbrush totally clean, all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the grime here. So we're just gonna pop a little a few drops of this in. It's quite a, a light brownie color. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of this just down on the underside. Just to give us a sort of warm mud look. A little bit of that on the back. Let me just come around a little bit on the other side. All right, so I'm cover the white. You'll notice, said before, it covers very, very nice and easy. Just down on here. And we can do exactly the same with this stuff. We can chip at this stuff. We can go right the way through. But you see just how quick and easy this will weather. All right, so again, another little bit on here. All right, just on there, and then cut to air. And you'll notice this will dry down incredibly quick. All right, and it will just go on. And again, we can chip at this, we can do all those different effects, we can wear through it right the way as we've been doing any of the others, all right? So we just put that in underneath, around the back and all the rest of it. We just do a little bit up here. All of these different areas just to give you a nice sort of warm, muddy type look. Just some of those tracks, a little bit underneath. All right, exactly the same, clean it out with plain water, and away you go. All right, and that's literally it. It is that easy. As you know, if you know me, you'll know I make products which are just easy to use and safe. This is all water soluble, so literally plain tap water will whisk this straight away. If you want to speed it up, Warm water gets rid of this almost instantly as well. Again, there's no shelf life on this either. It should last absolutely fine. It's perfect even if it's been frozen down to minus 12 because we did that in testing. You will have no problems with it at all. But hopefully you can see now the advantages of using this and actually what you can do with it. Thank you.